Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I have a fantastic collection from our friends at Hunky Dory Crafts. Look at this amazing collection of Miri cardstock. Some of it is die cut, some of it is embossed, some of it is patterned. I can't wait to show you what my friend Debbie and I did with this, so come back and play with us. Look at this gorgeous slimline card that my friend Debbie made. It's got a wedding greeting here and then the die cut word love, but also a gorgeous Valentine, right? And we're getting towards that time of year. It's time to start thinking about those Valentines. So let's take a look at this beautiful swirl, embossed swirl collection that Debbie used. There's gold. And then there's purple and red and green and pink and this beautiful blue and silver and black. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> it's so gorgeous. I love it. And what Debbie used on that first of all, of course this is an eight and a half by three and a half inch card. She used this beautiful pattern right here. And this is from the Time to Celebrate collection. Wow, you get a lot. Look at that, those beautiful stars and the fireworks too. Isn't that just great for this time of year? Beautiful. And then she used these wonderful little die cut greeting here. This is the Essential Book of Miri Sentiments. And you open this up, you guys, and it's got every color combination between the gold and the silver borders, and then all of the colors that are featured in the collection. And some of them are, you know, they're repeated, so you'll get the same ones in gold, silver, silver, gold, and then all the different colors. So you're completely covered in any color scheme you'd like. And then we've got these beautiful, and this one, this is the Miri Flutter buys and Flowers Mega Buy. And it's a Mega Buy because you get them both together. So you get these beautiful die cut butterflies. They are absolutely gorgeous in all of these different finishes. It comes in pink, kind of a rosy mauve color, silver, and then this gold is amazing. Look at that gold. And then there's blue. And oh, and then there's a green color too. Isn't that amazing? Okay, and then it also comes with the flowers which come in the same collection. And the flowers are wonderful for stacking. Look at the blues and the sort of green color. And then the mauve color and somewhere I bet there's gold and silver. They just stick together. Where's the silver? There we go. This one doesn't have silver, I was looking at it. Okay, so you get the green, the blue, the gold, the mauve, and the purple. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. All right, so Debbie did a great technique on this card. Okay, and what she did was she took her flowers, got some right here, as you can see, she stacked those. All right, and she also used some pink Jewel Dazzle stickers, which I've got here, and I've got my little jewel, my little uh, pick, and what else am I, oh, here we go. I've got my little ball tools. Now the ball tools, um, we're carrying a new collection of three ball tools, and this collection doesn't come with the foam, so I have a foam block that I had before. Um, but you could also use a mouse pad. You can also use a sheet of craft foam that works great with this collection. Okay, so it's a little cheaper if we don't have the foam and we figured you guys can source foam. Everybody's got a little bit of foam, a mouse pad or something. All right, so I'm going to take this and you're going to take the largest ball tool and you're just going to shape this by going around each petal and just doing a circular motion. And you're just trying to curve, since Mary's got a really nice thick cardstock to it. But what's great about it is, is it really holds its shape. All right, and you're just getting kind of a bowl look going on here, a curved indentation. All right, we're gonna do this next layer here. Okay. 
And we've got the little one. Come on. Right there. And the little one, we're going to switch to a smaller ball tool. All right. And then we're going to take a little bit of foam tape. Somewhere I've got my scissors. Here we are. Put one little bit of foam tape on the back here. I use a bigger piece of foam. Don't forget our giant wheel of foam tape. Look at that. Isn't that huge? We got a new one out because our other one was getting a little too small and it was kind of hard to uh, demonstrate how much you get. But you guys, you get 150 feet or 50 yards of foam tape with that. And it's around $20. And um, it will last you a very long time. All right, and we're just gonna layer each one of these little pieces with foam tape. You'll notice we're like taking the petals and you just sort of stagger those. And then we've got our little jewel picker here. It's got two ends, kind of a tacky little end. And then you just take that, and we're going to use a medium size. You place that end on there and kind of swirl it around to break the adhesive bond. And that's going to lift right up. You can place that right there, except I placed it off center. There we go. And there you go. Got nice little flowers with dimension there. Foam tape those on your card. And how beautiful is that? Gorgeous. So with these um, collection of alphabet letters and numbers, we're gonna be using these quite a bit today. I also wanted to remind you that you could take these and they just punch right out. And why not, if you had an embossing folder of your own, maybe as an all over pattern on it, like polka dots or even a wood grain, you could take these out, put them in your embossing folder and you can emboss them so that you would have an embossed letter or number. All right, so going on to this next one, which is this beautiful um, all over star pattern that's in this Time to Celebrate collection right there. And then Debbie took some of the embossed Miri dots in the gold. And she used strips of this gold, look at that, right there. And then on this one strip, this thin strip right here, she used foam tape under that to lift this one up. There's like dimension under there. Isn't that cool? She used her butterflies right here from the butterfly collection. And I wanted to show you a little tip about that. I'm going to tear off a little chunk of my foam tape. And if you put a little bit of foam tape, she glued two of these together, two butterflies together just on the bodies, okay? And I think she actually didn't glue them, did she? Oh, she used a little bit of the extra sticky tape. We recommend extra sticky tape um, or foam tape when you're putting the Miri, Miri card to Miri card. And the reason is because um, that slick surface doesn't always take, you know, like liquid glue very well. Look at that. Get that wonderful dimension on there. And then, of course, she used her little greetings. Bravo, you did it. Celebrate every moment. That is gorgeous. She did a beautiful job on that. Oops. And then we've got another one here. This one, oh, I should have mentioned, this one is six by five inches. This one is five by six and a half inches. And this one, she used some beautiful cutting dies. We've got the 10 ovals and scallop cutting dies. Yes, you can die cut the embossed Miri cardstock. It's not a problem. You just don't want to use maybe something that has a lot of shimming. So something that's highly detailed might not cut, I mean, it will cut really well, but it might flatten out your embossed, but large images like this cuts beautifully. So we've got an oval and then a scalloped oval here. She used her fireworks paper as her background. Um, we've got our little 30 here, and this is a wonderful little birthday card. 
She used her little flowers and put some foam tape under those. And then on the centers of each of those, she put our gold mirror jewel dazzle stickers on there. And we've got a nice little tidy bow there in a navy blue. Isn't that beautiful? And the sparkle, you guys. So I've got a card here that I'm going to build with you. We're gonna do a circle easel card. And to start with, we wanna use our circle cutting dies. I'm gonna use the two largest ones right here. The first one, I'm gonna place over a folded six and a half by five inch card so that the fold hangs over the, I mean, the die hangs over the folded edge. Here that is. And then you're gonna just take this and put this right through your die cutting machine. This is five inches wide, probably about five and a half inches with the die. And then when you're done, you're gonna get this shape. It's gonna have a flat edge right there. And then I scored it right across the center, right, just on the top part only. All right, so that's gonna start be the base of our easel card. Okay, and then I took those same dies. I took this one and cut out some of that beautiful Miri dot and this scallop, the largest scallop, out of the gold dot. All right, and what we're going to do is foam tape this one to this one just for some extra added dimension. This card is going to have lots of dimension, which I love. Now there is a pattern going on here with the Miri dots. They're sort of lined up this way horizontally. I'm going to line up this one horizontally as well, so they don't have to match, but I don't want to put them so that they're kind of askew. All right, I'm going to go back to my big roll of foam tape. And I'm going to put foam tape. Normally I would put glue on here, but I want lots of dimension, you guys. We're going to be utilizing that roll of foam tape. Okay, I'm gonna put foam tape right here. Make sure it's adhering well. All right, and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to place it upside down so that I can get it centered because the scallop is larger. All right, so we're working. Oh, you know what, I see here, because I'm looking in the, my camera monitor, I'm seeing that my circle is a little off. Well, I'm just gonna have to leave it. Make sure yours is a little centered better than mine. You see it's a little low down here. That's okay, we're moving on. All right, so what has to happen on the inside of the card for this to stand up is we need to have something with foam tape on it to really make that stand up. So this is gonna get right there and that's gonna stand like that. So I always like to take care of that so I remember to get something in there. And I just wanna make sure that this and this are straight. That they align so it's not really crooked. And once again, I did it crooked again. I think my monitor is throwing me off. There we go. All right, so that's gonna just pop right up and it's gonna stand right like that. So let's go ahead and get decorating here. We're going to do a graduation card for 20, 23. This would also make a fantastic birthday card or a New Year's card, just like that. All right, so as I said, putting Miri to Miri, you can try just gluing those down. I like to use a little extra sticky tape. Because it really is going to ensure that it's not going to just peel off. Where when you're using glue, um, Miri to Miri, sometimes it does, sometimes it just, pops off, especially in the mail. Okay, we're not gonna be terribly detailed about getting all of our numbers covered with 
tape because they are going to be sort of pinned down by the others. We're gonna do a little overlapping. You see how these backs are just firmly sticking to my fingers. Look at that, it's just sticking to me. A lot of static in here today. All right. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is make sure that my card fold is right here. I don't want my numbers to, when you open this up, I don't want my numbers to be crooked. I'm going to do it like this. Static. I've got this one upside down. There we go. All right, looks pretty good. Okay, and I've got some foam tape on these. I'm telling you, lots and lots of dimension. I have all kinds of foam tape backing everywhere all over the place. There we go. Then I've got a little happy graduation. I'm gonna put that on there. And then we've got our sweet little flowers. And I've already got these layered. I did not do any um, flower forming on these. I just left these flat. I'm gonna kind of tuck. Some have two layers of foam tape on them. Some just have one. You guys see all the static that's happening. Ah. Okay, we've got that going on. And then I wanted to show you guys for these butterflies. So when you have a butterfly that's silver, or really any Miri um, numbers or any of this Miri, if it's silver, it takes color really, really well. So I've got a very hot pink tri-blend marker. I'm going to use the darkest color. And I'm going to color this in because there are, you know, the mauve ones on here. But I wanted one that's really going to match that dark, hot pink dot Miri. And I also wanted to show you you could color. And they take any color. You can use alcohol ink on these. They work brilliantly. So here's one I've already got done. It's dry, it takes about five minutes after you color it for it to dry, and then that's permanent. That's not gonna come off, all right? And then we can just take one of these sweet little butterflies and we can just put that right up there. How cute is that? Then I've also got, guys, some of these beautiful pink self-adhesive pearls. We use one that's already opened. And we're gonna put one right here. Now right here, so we're bringing in some more of that hot pink. And as I said, this would work really, really well for a birthday card, graduation card, New Year's card. And you can mix up your colors. You could use it with blue or whatever color scheme you liked. Put a little bit of this on the back of it. Ooh, that was really awkward. There we go. Take this backing off. Kind of bent that up a little bit. I'm gonna put that right there. Okay, and when we open this up, we're gonna have a little greeting on the inside. So I've got this one that says, congratulations, time to celebrate. Got a little foam tape on the back of that. And we're gonna put that right there so that when that opens up, there's a nice little presentation on the inside. There you go, that's fun. All right, you guys, so we've got a fantastic money saver on this collection.
I believe that Paulette said there's also a sale on the Miri cardstock that is um, a, like along with the collection. So definitely check that out. Check out the money saver today, see what's going on. So uh, thank you so much. The money saver's on the right-hand side. All of the items are listed in, individually down below the video. If you're watching us on YouTube, then the link to this Paper Wishes webisode page is down below the video, and it'll take you to this page, and you can find all these great deals. And hey, a thumbs up is always appreciated. And subscribe. We do four to five videos a week, and I hate for you to miss a thing. Thanks for joining me today, and I will see you next time.